Hey guys, Jesus Fishing here. I'm gonna smoke a pork shoulder and just wanted to share my recipe with you. I have a Rectech wood pellet grill. I do a lot of smoking, so I'm gonna start making videos on that. So what I used to season this pork shoulder today was uh, sweet mes mesquite seasoning. Uh, you can get this at Costco, it's a Kirkland brand. And then El Mexicano Adobo all-purpose seasoning. I mix these two with brown sugar. Um, as far as ratios, I just eyeball it. Uh, your, your main component, you want to be brown sugar and then just throw some adobo and throw some of this uh, mesquite stuff on there. So what I do is I, I have a tray like this and I lay the pork shoulder on there and then I just lay it on the other side. Now this pork, sh pork shoulder sucks in all the, the seasoning. So what I do is I give it one round and then I'll just turn it around and do the other side. You want to keep the dry seasoning on here when it sucks it up. You, I've, I've tried it where I use this wet stuff to throw it back on there and uh, find that, I find that doesn't work as well. It just uh, falls off when you're cooking. So you want something that, that's not going to fall off. So you want the dry seasoning to be on it when you actually get it into the smoker. So I'm just going to give it another layer. You want to be very generous with this stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit right now and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go outside to my smoker and I have a smoke tube so I'm gonna get that started and then just clean out the smoker and get it ready for the cook. I'll come back to you guys. Actually, before I do that, um, I'll get a close up of this. All right guys, just wanted to show you a close up of the pork shoulder. I have the seasoning on there very generously. I'm missing a spot there so I'll get some on there. So like I said, I'm gonna go out to the grill and get that ready and get the smoke tube going. I'll show you guys what I'm what I'm doing out there. So I'll come back to you. Okay. So this pork shoulder is probably gonna be a uh, it'll be at least a ten hour cook. So I'm gonna fill up my hopper. Um, pretty much used it from the last cook. Just finished a uh, 14 hour cook today. So I'm filled the hopper and it'll last all night. Just That's what I love about the reaction. All right guys, so I got a, my smoke tube here and then I'm gonna get it started for the cook. So I use a torch. You want to keep it on here until you see a good flame and just let the flame go and it'll exhaust itself once you close the lid. That should be good enough. I'm going to go bring the meat. Alright guys, I'm just going to put in the pork shoulder in here. Make sure it has plenty of seasoning. Throw some on top. Can you see it? Turn on my grill. Normally I cook at 225, but I'm short on time. So I'm gonna smoke it at 250. Did you see the smoke tube still going? That'll go about five hours. And I'll uh, come back to you guys when we're ready to take it out, which will be tomorrow morning. Hey guys, just wanted to show you what your smoker should look like, or you know, what it looks like here when I'm rolling with the smoke tube. Look at all that smoke that comes out of here. Uh, without a smoke tube, you won't have as much smoke coming out. 
so it's 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 a great investment you can get one on Amazon for about 12 bucks and look at look at it it, it works wonders all right guys here's the pork shoulder that I was doing my video on yesterday take a look at it 200 degrees nice and ready I also have some ribs and a ribeye roast on here I'm gonna be enjoying today it's Easter today so Happy Easter everybody.